Well, Darren, I'm the biggest Maryland fan you're going to find anywhere. I graduated from College Park. I'm a part-time professor in the College of Journalism. I am appalled, embarrassed, disgusted by the actions of the university, the athletic department, and the football program tonight. Watch this. It's not professor what you guys do. Yes, Coach Durkin, is there anything you'd like to say? Yeah. Get your hand off of me. Yeah. Coach Durkin, is there anything you'd like to say? You can't use that film at all, can you? Putting your hands on reporters, talking trash. Here's Maryland starting quarterback Kasim Hill leaving practice, showing our sports producer Tom Hunsicker. He thinks Tom is number one. Really, Kasim? Listen, I know these student athletes have had a terrible deal this year. They've lost a friend and a teammate. Their coach is here, then he's gone, now he's back. But this football team and its leadership had an opportunity today to show its fan base, to show the campus community, to show potential recruits, and to show America that despite the negative attention that's dogged this program, they were going to persevere, overcome, and make us proud. Pushing around our reporters and flipping off news cameras is not going to get that done. Listen, I want to embrace this program. I want to hear Coach Durkin say, we're going to do better. We're going to first and foremost take care of our student athletes' health, and we're going to have a hell of a football program that everybody can be proud of. But what did we hear? Nothing. What's going to turn this around? Transparency, honesty, apologies, and positivity. Four things severely lacking on campus tonight. Today marks the return of one of this country's great national nightmares. It's the pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks, a nightmare for two reasons. First, it's poisoning you, my fellow Americans. Led like sheep to the slaughter with a big fat smile on your face, you're basically inhaling liquid death in a recyclable plastic cup. Second, the marketing minions at Starbucks have whipped you all into such a frenzy that A, we've got to waste time on TV talking about this, and B, they have debuted this Satan of sugar on one of the hottest days of the year. Pumpkin, you think of fall. It's August, people. It should be illegal, like if Walmart put up Christmas decorations before the 4th of July. That said, here's our poll question. What do you think of the pumpkin spice latte? It's great, it's horrible, I don't care, or I really don't care. Let us know what you think at WSA9.com slash vote or use our app and tweet me your thoughts at Adam Longo TV on Twitter. Am I totally off base here? Now this is the 15th year that Starbucks will serve the drink. So when can we shut up about it? The 20th year? When it first came out in 2003, D.C. was one of two cities to get it, along with Vancouver, Canada. So we were a test market, so I'm blaming all of you. Now, if you've never had one, awesome. You've reduced your risk of diabetes by 5,000%. It's got some solid ingredients, real pumpkin, cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. But then the angry autumn elves come over and dump in 50 grams of sugar, 52 grams of carbs, and 14 grams of fat for a total of 380 calories, and that's only the grande size with 2% milk. Are you drinking the venti with whole milk? Report to your cardiologist at once. So love it or hate it, and clearly now you know how I feel, the hashtag pumpkin spice latte was trending here in D.C. today. Take a look at what Will said. I purchased my yearly first and only pumpkin spice latte of the fall season today in order to remind myself of why I actually hate sweet drinks with a burning passion. Right there with you, bro. This girl said, happy first day of pumpkin spice lattes to all my other basic autumn-loving pumpkin chicks out there. Get your yoga pants on and let's thrive. You drink too many of them, those yoga pants ain't going to fit anymore. And Haley said, it may be 95 degrees in D.C., but I just took my first sip of fall. Listen, you still have time to vote in our poll. What do you think of the old Lucifer latte, uh, pumpkin spice latte? Vote on WSA9.com slash vote or the news app. We'll have the results at the end of the show if I still have a job. Is, um, is Starbucks one of our advertisers? Uh-oh. Now, this is awesome. Love the Air and Space Museum. I've been going there since I was a kid in elementary school in Stafford County. I'm happy that the museum will stay free and that federal funds are behind most of the project. But at the same time, the National Park Service is getting hosed by the federal government. There's a proposal we've been telling you about to jack up fees at popular parks, including Shenandoah here in Virginia. 70 bucks to get in and do some leaf peeping? Can you smoke those leaves as well? And don't blame Trump, it's Congress. Their support for the parks over the past 12 years? Pathetic. Now this proposal is just outrageous. Let your congressman know. Step up and pony up so everyone can afford the parks. Talk about it being an e economic engine. 
They say that for every $1 that the federal government puts in, they get $10 back to local communities that surround those parks and economic development. I've been wondering all night how you felt about that. Now you know.